Maverica. Today I am over across the street from our house at a church where they started their own conuco this year. This is the first time that they do it so it's kind of exciting and all the proceeds will be divided between the people who work on the conuco and the little free farm stand. It helps uh, needy families who want fresh produce go get free, wonderfully homegrown fresh produce. It's a really great um, organization to partner with. If you have a partner organization like that in your area, you know, check them out. You might be able to grow your own food and then give away any extras to needy families in your own community. So this is their conuco here behind me. It is beautiful. I'm actually a little jealous because their stuff seems to be doing much better than mine this year. Right behind me, is the cucumber trellis that they created. The cucumbers are growing so beautifully. I'll get closer in a second. They look like they have some uh, pumpkin and squash and then uh, some watermelon as well. They've been doing really well. So I'm going to show you everything that they've been doing. There's a ton of stuff behind there too. Tomatillos, um, corn, etc. So I'm going to show you a little bit right here. So oh, this is the cucumber trellis that they did. It's so beautiful and the cucumbers, uh, leaves, vines started growing up into the trellis. They've got some uh, cute little cukes growing there. I'm going to see if I can get in close so that you can see. Uh, there are a lot of little bees there right now pollinating all the cucumbers. That's great, the flowers. It looks like this right next to it might be um, pumpkin or squash, another vine family. And it looks like, yep, it looks like this is a type of pumpkin. Look at the little baby one right there. So up front here they have watermelon. Watermelon grows like this on the ground. You can see it's already flowering. And behind there, they have a ton of tomatoes. Look at that. Look at all the tomatoes that are growing. That's amazing. And they have deer resistant flowers behind there. There's a reason why you have to grow those in New Hampshire. The deer are all over the place. And in the back, it looks like they already picked all of the corn that was back there. Let's see, we have some more tomatoes. We had a, um, a rainstorm last night, so their tomatoes are kind of tilted like mine today. I'm going to have to pick mine up. Yeah, but those are turning colors. That's awesome. Pepper plants. They have some habaneros, just like us. So I just wanted to show you what our neighbors did with their conuco. Actually, I'm going to go around so you can see the potatoes a little bit better. So here we are on the other end, and it looks like they grew potatoes in a little sack. You can see how the potato stalks and leaves are all drying out. That means that this is almost ready to be picked. When they're all done, all you have to do is turn over this potato sack, dig in, and you're going to get beautiful potatoes. 